Hi, welcome to One Minute with Ms. Marshall. So I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to a part of our math curriculum that I think will be helpful in working with your students at home. And that part of our math curriculum is called Solve and Share. So something new about this math curriculum is we are really, really, really trying at the early ages to get our students from moving to from dependent learners to independent learners. You're going to hear a lot about that um, over the next year as we dive deep into Envisions Math. So all students, no matter what grade they're in, kindergarten and up, start with a solve and share. A solve and share is a problem that the purpose is for your students to struggle because we know that struggle builds understanding by connecting prior knowledge to new ideas. So during the solve and share time of math, students create and solve a problem. So each day they have a different problem and they're going to show their work. So you can see this is the teacher's manual. So this area over here is what the students will see. So for example, it tells the teachers exactly what to do. So students will have 10 counting cubes. Check for understanding of the problem. So Emily and I have the same number of toys. How many toys could each of us have? How many toys do we have in all? You can use cubes to help. Guess what? This is a first grade activity. So some of the things that they want students to remember is they can use double facts to solve the problems. They can also look for things that repeat. So during the solve and share time, students are encouraged to work with a partner to solve the problem. So we are um, increasing their communication and helping them take ownership of their work. So that while they are talking, you can see right here, during small group, the teacher is observing the students at work. They're asking guided questions to elicit thinking. One of our goals is to get students thinking, once again, to help them move from being a dependent learner to an independent learner, able to problem solve and solve problems all by themselves. So the teacher is also looking, how do students represent the toys? Looking to see what they are drawing or how they are using their cubes and how do students find out how many toys. One thing we are teaching our students here at Roland is it's not always about the answer. Finding the answer quickly is not the most important thing, but we want you to understand how you got the answer. And this is a great time because after their whole group and after their small group, students get a chance to share out. So you can see this is an example. Students actually get to come to the board and engage with their classmates explaining their work, giving them once again that ownership and that pride and understanding that they are mathematicians, that they can solve these problems and they can solve them by them, themselves. The teacher, the teacher is the facilitator during this time. They're the coach, they're on the sideline. They're asking the questions. They're helping students remember the play. They remember how to solve the problem. They are never given the answer. And this, you, as you can imagine, has been challenging for some of our students because like it says right here, that productive struggle. That is a new concept. And it might even be a new concept for our families to think, oh my goodness, my student's school is allowing them to struggle. Yes, during the solving share, they struggle a little bit. But remember, by the end of the solving share, they're connecting their prior knowledge with new ideas and they're becoming independent learners. The learners that you can be proud of and the learners that we are proud of here at Rowland Elementary School. So when your child comes home today, ask them, what was their solving share about? I hope that they're able to let you know how they solved the problem. This is one minute or more with Ms. Marshall. I look forward to sharing with you some more great things that we are working on here at Roland Elementary School. Have a great day, everyone.